Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me and uh, connecting to my channel is almost 2024 so let's talk about what this means it's gonna be a wooden dragon year and yeah okay lucky for you but not quite um, yes if you'd like have a look at my book 2024 the year of the wooden dragon it's going to be very very helpful I believe for most people this year it is available in Kindle and physical and it is in the caption section so yes okay so um the dragon year responsibility is huge you might be very lucky and things are lined up so how do they get lined up if you've been very kind and creative if you have very good connection to your ancestry if you have very good mother and father connection if you're young and if you have really good support, if you have a nice family that loves you no matter what, if you have been smoothing things over in a rabbit year, in the rabbit year 2023, you might have a lot of prizes already. So things are smooth. And how do you know they're smooth? Very, very easy because everything's lined up. So this is not for everybody, um, but rather for a um, very family and community orient oriented um, Pisces people. If you do not have this stability, if you do not have the security with other people, things are not maybe lined up at all. But maybe you've been very good at processes. For example, you have a passive income. Maybe you have a book that you've written that you've sold many copies of. Maybe you have a best friend somewhere, maybe even on the internet somewhere that is helping you get seen and promoted. Maybe you have many people that you know that can help you. Most of us people with any Pisces in our chart and also 12th house phenomenon have something or somebody kind of stashed up. So for example, you have a best friend who is promoting you online or maybe you have a program that does it for you. Maybe you have a very, very good and sturdy bank account or your business is tricking, uh, trickling, trickling away uh, positively or you have um, more than enough people coming to you, or you have many, many people that know of you by some kind of social media site. So in a sense, you have it backed up. And what backed up means is different for different people. So for some people, it is a uh, Bitcoin uh, sort of world. For some people, it is about having health and sustenance. For some people, it's about having a process. All of the rabbit year it was just about being careful and being true and pure and purifying and structuring designing and redesigning an existing process maybe and trying to keep the head above the water so in a sense what i mean head above the water is trying to make sure that you don't drown um, meaning that you have enough energy time and stamina that you are psychologically advanced enough to be able to take a uh, hold of these opportunities or responsibilities that you have enough maybe money, power, stamina, self-esteem or um, energy to be able to do what you need to do. So in a sense, uh, the romantic spectrum also might be going off for some Pisces by the end of the year 2023. And there are lots of responsibilities also that are now showing up uh, very well. So maybe you are very good at functionality, the opposite sign to use Virgo responsibilities work and power and no damage done if you don't really have it all together if you're not holding every single key that you want to hold in your life because it is going to all come to fruition and dragon yeah so it's just about how things work it's about how things are it's about respect it's about culture for some people it just depends on the life you're living and to a degree it also part of your financial or your emotional past it is up to you how you define yourself by the end of 23 because in 24 we have a very nice phenomenal arousal or growth or just uh, time to be there for each other it's a beautiful lovely and lush spectrum of growth and responsibilities and respect and having things just so so it's just about having things bubbling now that's quite cool Probably it's quite important for other signs to learn off as well as you are the final sign bubbling on low temperature and knowing how to basically distribute that energy throughout your life. It's about knowing how to bring it and it's about knowing how to do it. It's about knowing where there are momentums you don't have to put so much power into. So for example, I put this video online, I forget about it, it generates generates income or generates friends or followers or generates energy um, you do something and then you just basically leave it you put it on the back burner and it does itself 
in the same way, maybe depending on where you're from in the world. So, for example, I understand in some countries, uh, children sometimes take uh, um, care of their parents. So, for example, if you are a really good, sturdy, hearty parent, maybe you by now have your children do the chores or the tasks in your house. So it's like, I don't have to wash the dishes. My 12-year-old son will wash those dishes. This is only for certain cultures and certain um, Sometimes ethnical groups bring their children up to be very independent from an early age. For example, I don't have to um, tidy this, um, my child will do this. So they're like a six-year-old child and they can clean up their toys by themselves, they can tidy up after themselves, okay? For example, my 25-year-old child will provide me something, like my 25-year-old child will come home and bring me some groceries will take me somewhere, they will drive me somewhere if I need to go there, they will make an appointment for me. I don't have to do this. So this is very, very likely in certain families, maybe this is an Arabic family or um, a Chinese or maybe even like a Thai family, sometimes Slavic families do that as well. So this kind of depends on you. Um, in a sense, it is um, not just about upbringing, it's about culture and nature and just how it all works in your scheme. Maybe you're not one of those people. Maybe you're a modern day people and uh, that's okay. It's like I've put a book online and I'm going to get some passive income from selling that book. And it basically sells itself. I don't have to tell anybody about it. It just does itself. It can also be like very highly modern, like OnlyFans or Instagram or anything like that. It's like I, I put up this video and it generates income for me passively. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do, do that again. So in a sense, uh, many, many people do what they want. And it is a very, very willful energy that we have in 24. It is hard to control them. Uh, although, if you have a touch of genius to you, you can make a balanced and very special system. And by that system, anything and everything works and it trickles away on the back burner. So this means at a very low speed, at a very low volume, in a very, very fine and careful way, in a very subdued and in a very, very practical way, things just work out for you and eventually keep on working out for you for many years to come. This is about like... Um, not giving a man a fish, teaching a man to fish, you know. Give a man a fish, he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime, sorry. So in the same sense, I don't like recycling quotes. Uh, in, in the same sense, maybe for your people or your children or your staff or your friendships, you basically try to maintain it. You're trying to maintain it. You don't have to be God. You don't have to like teach your kids everything. You don't have to yell at them or raise your voice. It is basically just maintaining, maintaining your prism of per per perception. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's about uh, maintaining your kindness and your generosity and also ingenuity. In a sense, not everybody gets to see you at your best sometimes in a way you will not be able to show up to some things. Pisces is a silent sign. It is a sign of the background sometimes and it's not okay to be pushy all the time. So in a sense, you are appearing and disappearing for about half a year. So in a sense, you're not going to be there. You're not going to be able to do it. So for example, your answer machine takes a message. You don't need to hear the message. Your child takes uh, care of the responsibilities in the home. You can go have a sleep. Okay. You don't have to tell people about something. Uh, another person or another device or an app tells everybody about it. You don't have to do it. But that's one of the main reasons things work. So you behind the scene, keep it private. Sometimes you won't be able to be there. Something will just take you out. Like you'll miss an appointment, you'll sleep through, or you won't be able to be there, or it's too messy for you. Also, in the age, later years, sometimes things are just overwhelming and they're just too bossy. For example, I cannot contend sitting in traffic for three hours to get to this job interview. I cannot. And that has to be absolutely okay. Um, so you have to do an online job interview or just not show up. You know, so some of the time you will definitely have times where you have to drop off. But the system that you've created is so sleek and neat. It um, doesn't need to be done again. So maybe the way that your house works, maybe the way that your job works, maybe the way that your intellect works, maybe the way that you have studied yourself and figured out who you were, uh, or who you are works. So in a sense, some things weren't working before, and now they're pretty freaking perfect. And then eventually, by the end of the year, yeah, just going there now, 
um, by the end of the year, you have to um, give back and you have to give a lot of hope and teaching to other people. So maybe it will be you that is cleaning something up. Maybe it is going to be you that is in service. So I'm definitely feeling that Pisces goes back to helping others. Pisces can very easily go back to providing services and orchestrating things for other people. Maybe they'll go into charity work by the end of the year or they'll start to present something very different or they'll want to be maybe even vulnerable in front of people. And it's very real and serene and sensitive core as fully seen by the end. And it's a very heart-tearing emotion that we feel at the end of the year coming from you guys. It's like, didn't you guys see me before? Don't you understand how much you have to go through? Or like, well, I didn't tell anybody, but I'm actually like broke or, you know, I don't have enough or I'm not quite sure how to gain myself or how to gain mental or emotional stability. That's uh, going to be almost like a curse being broken in the next couple of years. So if you have a big burden, um, don't talk about it. Try not to nurture people through burdensome logic and energy during a dragon year. Everybody's trying to be there for you. Everybody is functional at the level that they are. Don't ask them to be any more than they are. So don't uh, teach your kids or don't, don't teach other people to do any more of the, over the top of what they're doing. They're doing the best they can. And then inevitably, maybe by the end of 25, uh, 24, you will trickle into a small ball and tell people, look, like, for example, I'm out of energy, I'm out of stories, I cannot tell any more stories, I'm so strong on this, or I'm strong on that, and I wish this happened in the world, but it's not. So there's like that complaining energy that Pisces has inside. It will need to show through by the end of the year. And then by 25, we have a lot of problems, a lot being solved by Snake, because Snake is kind of a doctor. And it is kind of about envy and jealousy and sadness and displacement and feeling um, hard done, feeling that one is in the wrong shoes again. So feeling like a memory for somebody else, uh, feeling discomforted by one's life or other people's realities, uh, not feeling good, feeling burdened. That's going to help you, actually, and it's going to even salt you, like some assault you into a completely uh, different type of tribe or lifetime by the end of 25. So in a sense, snake here is the time uh, to complain and to get yourself together. But for now, it is what it is. And this is hard because some Pisces might be like, uh, you mean like dragon is like the best year? Really? Is this really what you think? Like, look, like, look at my accounts. Well, actually, I didn't get this perfect in rabbit year. And I only now realize I got a problem here and I got a problem there and this hurts and that's not good. So in a sense, I feel um, it's about being scarce. There's a lot of negativity to a Pisces person and rightfully so. There's a lot of dismay and maybe nervous tension and to some degree, like just a sadness or a change of philosophy coming in 24. Not for everybody, but for some, there's going to be some kind of a murmur or disheartening or just a slowing down or a feeling of being missed or not being welcome somewhere. So there's going to be not necessarily like a bad face. It could be a slightly awkward, demeaning energy that comes with you sometimes into the space, even though you know everybody in every space. And you know exactly, you probably know exactly what everybody's thinking and doing and feeling, you know, exactly how to control or manipulate the situation to your betterment. Um, you probably know exactly what people are capable of. So in a sense, it's like... Oh, I'm walking back into a story that I myself have created. Oh gosh, this is going to be, this is going to be, yeah, you do this for me. Thank you so much. Stop doing this. Okay, I need to do some maintenance on my website. I have to pay this account. Great. Now I need to go to bed. After making some executive decisions, Pisces just goes back to bed. Or they just have their own little safety nook or space where they get to feel what they're feeling. And they're kind of off the radar or not able to be reached by somebody else. So they walk in as only... A maintenance like life happens automatically and they just like maintain everybody and everything and they say thank you and please and so good to see you wow this was a great day okay great bye so there's like a little bit of an unfeeling feeling to Pisces and sometimes it's the best just like well I uh, get to be just kind of okay and happy as it is it's not really a happiness it's a complacency now I'm going to try to help you through this because um, this is the hardest uh, yard for a Pisces during this year when um, you know that you manifested a lot and you have studied, uh, sorry, studied yourself or started to study yourself on a very, very large or very, very 
intense level and you know like probably most of this that you bought or most of that which you've been a part of is kind of like children's play and you're like yeah 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 whatever like don't bother me I'm gonna go to bed um, all of this feeling of uh, not necessarily sadness the need for control may leave you but you might just be looking at everything it's like what you think this is great it's like wow that person won a prize really haha <laughs> you think that oh I'm gonna go to bed now you know so there's like a very weird unfeeling kind of slightly above it all like I don't care I'm just staring into the landscape I'm just staring into the sunset type of feeling it's almost like as if um, Pisces are not that easily uh, bought or sold and that's not really like a bad feeling it's just that you are lucky because you might not have those emotional states anymore so by 25 that ends so your lucky spell as I'm saying Dragon is a lucky year, a lucky year, even if you don't believe me. Um, by the end of uh, 24, by the start of 25, you're going to get it. Like you got to get there. Oh my God, all this passion, all these emotions. Like how come you guys didn't see me before? Like don't you understand? It's so hard. It's so hard. Like for now, 24, you don't feel it. You don't have that dream. Take advantage of it. So, for example, if you are taking medication, you can stop taking medication. If you're taking Xanax or any like Valium or anything hardcore, it could be that you're not hurting anymore after all. Maybe it took you three or four years how to organize your brain or your psyche. You might not have to have these messes that you had before. It's a healthy year. Uh, Pisces, one of the downsides or shadow sides to being a Pisces is this illness, Ill illness, mental illness or physical, psychological illness, um, nervous system issues or just like imagining things that don't have to be, you know, like being a little bit overly imaginative or controlling of other people's lives, you don't need to do this. So all of this basically starts to become negative eventually later on. So while it's not negative, while you are not feeling anything, while you're not maybe like smoking so much weed, Maybe you're not uh, fighting so much at home. Maybe you're not interested so much in people's results. You are not so picky. While you're not so picky, while you're not so extreme or extremist in your behavior and your mind states, it's a good time to allow and let go. So this is a time to forget. Yeah, that's your superpower. What? Is this it? I'm forgetting. Are you serious? I'm not like imagining. I'm forgetting. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though it's an alpha year. So, like, what is your alpha streak? Forgetting. It's not just about forgetting. It's about relieving. Relieving, releasing, and no longer having to express life in such a way. So, this is just about karmic shifts and changes and not needing to be in destitute, not needing to have certain things happen in your world, being able to heal and alleviate pain for also another person. Does that not sound good enough? pretty cool it's a superpower but yeah of course like maybe this comes with also a little bit of low self-esteem it's a great deed that you could be doing probably any time of your life there is like a huge concept behind you it's almost like a godly zeus like um feeling or concept to you um, no matter how far you come in life you probably have a very godly center point or very open to creation open to the universe side to you and you can close a door very comfortably and confidently and then you could open probably a few other doors so it's kind of like you are the administrator the administrator the organizer or the brain behind life and sometimes the lives of other people is just not so like scary for you today and maybe that's where the complacency is it's like ah, oh, i solved that problem before ah, oh, the puzzle is solved like i don't have any back pain anymore I don't have any issues in my head anymore. I don't know. I'm just going to go to bed. So like basically 24, should you go to bed? Should you just relax? Should you just like let it all autopilot itself? Should you allow the system that you have created in Rabbit 23? Uh, should you allow your um, finances, your family to take care of itself and occasionally just maintain it? Probably. So yeah, I mean, what can I say? complacency not feeling anything what to do I mean where are we now in the world and yeah of course you might be hyper aware in terms of like what's happening in the political arena what is happening with global financial situation nothing scares you anymore maybe so you can see past the crap you know past the makeup and the hair and people's ideas or people's uh, information you can probably skip past 
skip past this video if you want. Skip past anything and everybody like, whoa, 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 whoa. I am lying to myself just from concentrating on something else outside of me. I am Pisces. I am the dream orchestrator or I am like the one inside, like the very nucleus of the game of life, you know. So in a sense, you could be saying or telling me, look, just stop all this. This is just distraction from the main current of frequency that we're actually experiencing in the world today. And here you are going all Greta on me, you know, all Greta, like saying, well, this is about the environment. This is about the rights of humanity. And maybe, yeah, okay, cool. All right. If you like, you can do it. You can demonstrate you can go to uh, the abyss and try to fill that black hole, that gaping giant black hole of sadness with something. Sure, you can do that if you like. Sometimes it's a very shamanic uh, element that you guys have naturally probably uh, being able to um, do something um, that other people can't. For example, uh, trying to um, make sense of things that are not... Uh, made sense of uh, by other people. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab the charger there. Um, cargador, por favor. Um, cargador. Gracias. Um, sorry. Um, so basically, uh, what some of you guys might be after or um, able to do or could even enable other people to do, sorry, <laughs> is to understand um, the quantums or the quantic shifts that life is going through and how to deal with it today. And for sure, this is not um, for everybody to go full Greta and, uh, you know, go and uh, police people about world issues and take the main center as, um, I suppose, as a political leader or some kind of a doctor or some kind of a lawyer or some kind of representative. But in some cases, it's going to have to be. If you don't know how else, you have to step up and you have to get your, your hands dirty. You've got to, like, walk out there with a picket sign you got to make sure that all your friends and your family know about it. You have to raise awareness. Sure, you got to like rescue cats and dogs. Sure, like you got to talk about world power. Summer of the time is going to be like that. And it could be also on a minor scale. For example, you're so happy in your home, but you know, like for example, your son has very strange tendencies and qualities. And maybe he's only like 14 years old, but he is uh, expressing himself in a way that is not appropriate for a child or a teenager to do it in this age. So yeah, sure, you might start to change. You have to change your life. You have to change um, the way that you think. You're in a process. You have to change that relationship between you and your child. And of course, maybe sometimes things are very far gone. And this is just basically like, yeah, the philosophies are now kicking in. It's like, I've learned so much. I read so many books about karma. I've tried so hard to get to know myself and my inner world. And now is the time when I go on like red alert and I'm trying to fix myself or I'm trying to fix my family and sure like sometimes yeah um, Pisces might be in crisis for some of 2024 and in a sense like yeah nobody cares uh, nobody cares uh, nobody's going to be like oh Pisces do you need a hand because like everything is already done in a sense you have a process you have a mathematical formula maybe this is a religious formula also mathematical haha <laughs> You have a strategy, you have a strength and you have a weakness. Most things kind of could probably be added up to a mathematical formula. You have a way. <clears throat> you have a way that you've been living your life and it's going to live itself for you. So um, not a lot of people can fix it. Um, some things coming up to the surface uh, that you cannot fix. And this could be very, very dangerous to touch today. So yeah, I do understand, like, you know, some of you are like, wow, I'm going to change things in the nick of time. I'm going to try to help, for example, my mother get over her depression, or I'm going to help my, um, my partner get out of this uh, obsession with the internet. Or I'm going to make sure that my children don't watch so much TV, even though they're completely, obviously addicted to it. So you see, like, um, you might have a lot of... Um, meanness come through in 2024 and this comes to being like a savior and uh, resolving this uh, sense of depression this is depression it's like a it's like a welcoming depression it's not like a depression it's like a laziness or complacency you're trying to break through yourself and maybe you're wishing for other people to stimulate you or recognize that you have a certain problem and maybe uh, you want to solve it like you don't want your son to participate in social media so much you don't want your I don't know grandmother talking about the war I don't know what you know um, so in a sense, all of that task 
making that you might be applying yourself to in 2024 might just land on deaf ears. For example, you took part in a rally and you got nothing from it and somebody freaking stole your car, you know, you know, like you parked on the side there, like to go to the rally and somebody just stole your car. So you didn't get anything with the rally and you lost your car, you know, so nothing really happened. So it's very, very likely nothing's going to happen. That's the thing. So the danger zone of emotions and expecting to be explained and expecting to feel good or bad or raw or sad. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't work so hard. So how to better commit to this year. Now, this is all dubious now. This is all kind of flying around, right? So it's like you, you're you probably saying like, well, help me understand how to really put myself together during this year. How do I put my life together? So once again, the process is pretty raw, but it's obvious. Like, for example, your children are washing up after you cook. Good. Respect. Okay, so maybe it took like uh, some time, maybe five years to train them to do that. Awesome. Great. Okay. Maybe your partner is um, more worthy or like has more income and is paying for more things in the house where you, you get to relax and look after the kids, for example. Great. Some things are going on. Like say your Bitcoin or I don't know, some account is doing itself. It's self-mastering itself. You don't need to put your energy into it. You only come in to maintain and you relax. Great. So uh, that's it. What? Yeah, where am I meant to be? Like, what is what is my soul doing this year? Polina, like, tell me, like, how am I going to, like, manage? Like, what are the things, what are the overheads? Like, what if something happens? What if somebody comes in and does something? What if I'm, like, meant to be elsewhere? Like, can you tell me, like, how to use my energy and time and money and self-esteem during this year? Like, I'm still getting no answer from you. And that's exactly right. So like the best answer I could probably say is allow the system that you have made and managed in the last seven or eight years to do itself. Yeah. And then now what? You get to relax? Wait. Yeah. And then you basically breathe. What? Yeah. You breathe. You breathe it out of you. You don't have to be so polite anymore, okay? You don't have to pretend. You don't have to wake up people, go online, protest, talk about science, talk about hunger, talk about, I don't know, like really strong issues like pregnancy or salvation of your soul or Jesus Christ or nothing. You don't need to do nothing. You don't need to get the best of them. You have... Probably quite a small system, but it works. And it is self-nourishing. Accounts, you know, uh, passive incomes, you know, simple things like you do something and you get something for it. Your kids are self-nurturing. People understand they're doing their own study. Uh, your friends come around when they want and they leave when they want. And that's it. That's the ecosystem there. What? But what about me? What about my troubles? What about my pains? Like, tell me, like, what's actually going on with me? So what's going on with you is that you have a certain level of what? Success, no? Like, you have a certain level of uh, understanding. You have an answer to questions already. And the way that things work. This is like this now. Do, 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 do. It's like a machine. It's a mathematic formula. It prints itself. It's a momentum that goes by itself. Look at this, your creator. Like your kid does the dishes every time you freaking cook a meal. That's freaking amazing. That's fantastic. Your children are doing their own homework. Amazing. Your partner does what they want. Okay, cool. Things are repetitive. I mean, let's talk about like the structure and the nature of life in the universe, no? Yeah, things are repetitive. Um, things have set themselves up into a pattern. Well, in a sense, you have made it. You have made things do what they were going to do in the end. So you kind of supplied your energy, nature, or force to make things what they are today. And most of it works. Uh, please notice how it does itself. Look at this. Like, you can ride the bike with no handlebars now. I can ride the bike with no handlebar. No handlebar. No hand Sorry, I'm not making fun of you. You should uh, listen to it. So in a sense, your world is working itself out. People are coming in when it's time. People are leaving when it's time. 
So you're like a master. So it's like very easy to see you've made a life self-oiled and self-maintained like an ecosystem self-nourishing you know self-watering if you can imagine you're living maybe in an ecosystem like a bubble or just like a part of many ecosystems your mother has an ecosystem your brother has an ecosystem and, and they're all talking to each other you know and maybe there is health and wealth and abundance it makes sense opposite side to you is Virgo it makes sense don't mean anything more than you need to. Okay, cool. I am here in my world that I have myself satisfactionally, satisfactionally created. You know, I have made it here. I've made my universe what it is. You're like sitting there in the freaking lotus, very Pisces. I have managed my time, energy, money, and my concepts into this type of structure. And I'm not naive now. I'm not naive, I'm not jealous of anybody, I'm not sad about anything, I'm not mad with desire, I'm not angry about my peers, I am not sexy about some guy from my past, I am not emotional about what you can manage that I can't manage, I am not begging for anything else to happen, I don't have it in me, I've run out, I've run out of dirt. No, the world just loves itself. It does upon itself as it should do. Like, say, the dog walks itself. Like, that's it. You know, and it's like this. You're, like, sitting there at the bottom of the sea, if you can imagine, and everything just swims by you and does itself. You know, it's a great big world out there, and it's shining for you. Like, your child comes back from school and says, Hey, Mom, I got an A. Be grateful. That did itself. Your kid got an A by themselves. Great. Your husband comes back from work, makes his own freaking sandwich. Isn't that amazing? You don't have to like jump up and cook nothing. It's like awesome. Or there's already leftovers. You have a system of leftovers in your fridge. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to do that many things now. You're just like, cool. Great. Things get done by themselves. Sometimes you just go to check in. Hey, honey, are you happy? Everything's fine. Great. Awesome. Leave it alone. If you have a system that you've created in your life and it works by itself and you have reached a certain level of balance and peace and abundance, leave it alone and say, thank God. Thank God there's no screaming or yelling at my house. Thank God I don't have to contend with so many people. Thank God I don't have to have a job. I got a at-home job or I've got a career that pays me for just like showing up online a couple of times a month. I'm so happy I don't have to uh, push. I'm so happy I don't have to talk. If you like, hold silent retreat. You can go to a Vipassana. I'm not kidding you. Uh, you can go to a Vipassana retreat and put that giant full stop on everything that has been tearing at you for the last like eight or seven years. Who am I? Where am I? Why is this? Why is that? Telling your kid off, telling your husband off, being angry about your health. Being angry, being sad, being uncon unconsolable. Issues in your back, issues in your mind, issues in your body, issues, issues, issues. I know ingrown toenails, uh, heavy breathing, you know, having damage, um, having a damaged spleen, I don't know, having a damaged uh, spine, you know, like all of this stuff, like maybe that's gone, maybe it's going away. Maybe you have a really good diet or exercise routine or cleansing routine, it does itself now. Maybe that pain threshold is better. Maybe you don't have any pain in your body now, for some people. Maybe it's fading away. Maybe your uh, obsession or your abstract ideas or trying to keep on competitive behavior, jealousy, emotionality, sensitivity is going away. Congratulations. That's a superpower. Is that my alpha state? Is this what alpha is about for Pisces? Well, yeah. Imagine. I have no job. Money just comes to me. Pisces. I don't have to do anything around the house, it just gets done. Pisces, I don't have to talk to anybody. It's all just said and done within the moment of time that we spend together. Great. It all does itself upon itself. Great. And then we have to prepare you for the next five or six, seven years to come. Oh my God, that was a very long cycle, really. 
We'll say yeah, because you've done the work on yourself and you've made as much uh, progress as possible that the system is now clean. You probably don't have any karma. Maybe you don't have any karma with your mother anymore. Maybe you don't have to talk so much. Maybe you don't need to do anything. Um, and then you just basically get to relax and realize, wow, I got it pretty good. And just as you get to know, wow, actually I got it pretty good. 2025 comes, and that's so bad and crazy for some people sometimes. So what I mean is, you can use this time however you want. I would probably definitely recommend having a break, having a sleep in, being comfortable and thoughtful about what you are through the external world that is talking back to you. Like, for example, I'm experiencing abundance. That is because the internal in, uh, abundance has uh, ma manifested this uh, external abundance that I'm experiencing today. My children are not speaking back to me badly. They are kinder to me. That's because I've learned to become, you know, for example, I don't have any problems with my husband because uh, we've made it very clear as to how we are growing together as a couple, as a team, and what is uh, our territory. We have fully forgiven each other for our sins and our past, and we are now feeling very fulfilled. Try to seek more of this, like oh, meditation, Zen, Pisces sitting in the lotus, just absorbing and feeling so much gratitude and health. Keeping on what? Keeping on, keeping on, keeping on what? Not keeping on nothing, just keeping on feeling good enough, feeling sustainable, feeling peaceful, feeling respectful, feeling respected. On this little small level, sure, or a very big abundant level. Like I have my own company, I don't even have to work and I just like check the accounts once in a while. I don't even have to be there, I just look around and I'm like, yeah, people give me some contract and I sign and I forget about it. Like, I don't need to clean or cook anymore. Like, I don't need to ask for so much anymore. I don't have to do this anymore. Ow. To be on singing bowl. It's exactly like that's all it is. And basically all it is is trying to find a sensitive part of you that just feels a feeling which is a clear feeling. Maybe you have uh, many parts of you like I am just in bliss actually. Well I'm so happy actually. Well, actually, aside of all of that that's happening in my life, there's just beauty. I'm like a beautiful person. Wow, imagine Pisces feeling that. I'm just so amazingly caring. Because the next sign to you is Aries, the, alt the ultra ego or the big ego. Aries, don't worry about it. I am so loving. Wow, I really love who I am. I love how I've made my life. I'm the master, I'm the key keeper of my life, Chiron and Aries. I live for the day. It's like the fool's card. I live for my life. Yes, you still have to maintain something, sometimes tell your kid off, but it's all happening for me, through me, and throughout me. I'm imagining my life. I'm imagining. I'm imagining my body. I'm imagining my philosophies, I'm imagining who I am, and I can fully, fully feel grateful, grateful to me, to my ancestors, whoever, God, Gaia, universe, I'm so amazing, I'm having such a good time, baths, water procedures, sex, you know, cleaning the house if you find it therapeutic, sitting on top of the mountain going, um, and then inevitably the end, you know, the end, oh, sorry, uh, snake isn't going to be that kind or that mellow. You'll have another. I met this guy and I can't believe he's real. Or like, my kids are running off with somebody else. Or like, my husband told me something and I squinted and I thought about it and it really, really pissed me off. So like, we have it come back. So that angry feeling comes back, that ego comes back, the feeling like nothing is done right comes back, uh, anger and these crazy philosophies about what the world should be and what should I be and what should you be, all of that will come back if you don't, you don't need to do this, you see, if, yeah, when, if, yeah, how, don't you just want to be peaceful, Pisces, 
with a sign of peace. If you like, just be peaceful. But yeah, for sure, some issues will come in 2025. Did you pay the accounts? Did you think about the future? Or like, did you think that your kid would be fine studying in this in this group? That's so bad. Look, bad influence, you know, like husband cheated or something, I don't know, thinking about something crazy. Why is he watching sports games all the time? So all of this really neurotic stuff that you don't need can be neutralized and forgotten about. In 2024, so it may never repeat again, what is your biggest fear? Do you want that to come back to you in 25? Do you want to be like, oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, I thought this would happen. Oh my God, I wasn't controlling enough. No, 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 no. I, I slept it all away. I forgot. I didn't get the memo. I wasn't ahead of time enough. What is the world coming to? Like, it's like the Greta Th Thunderberg, Thundelberg, Thumble, Thumbelina. I don't know. I don't remember her name. So like, yeah, that's it. You know, and all of that ah, eventually gets uh, cultured into the next phase of what? Horse? Horse? Goat? We all eventually become like that. So if you're like, Breaking free even now in 23, try to reduce yourself to a minimum. Try to put everything on slow pace and just enjoy it. Ooh, functionality. Wow, God loves me. The universe is abundant and grow and feel and no fear. And in 25, 24 ends, 25 isn't gonna be that big a burden. If you don't care and like ha 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 oh wow an enlightened Pisces ha 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 wow my kid did the the the, the laundry for me too wow ha 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 wow my husband brought me flowers home ha 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 like a naive little nymph naivety next sign to you is Aries the quintessential naive person the naiver so if you could you could break free even further from your burdens and from your past and your past lives and your philosophies and your upbringing. Oh my God, the danger, the danger, you know, the shadow of the world. Oh my God, like how dare they cut the trees down? All this, you have to grow past this and just breathe. And as you are breathing and expanding and sensing this uh, niceness or the sweetness or even, my God, the selfishness, because the next sign to you is Aries, selfishness. Get selfish. Selfishness, it's okay. Um, relive the classic moments and dreams. Like, what am I going to do for 24? I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to wear the most beautiful dress I could find. Yeah, bye. You know, so that's like the kind of like trouble that sometimes Pisces has. Like, I cannot do this. My son hasn't done his homework. Ugh, don't teach anybody anything. Try to relieve all of this frequency through just absolute mesmerizing moments that you may have with yourself. Aries being the next sign to you. I love me. Like, for example, I love having money. I love going to the beach. I love riding horses. I love being naked. I love being on my own. I love taking pictures. I love me. Yay. I love. I love. I love, and that being the concept of 24, superpower, everybody's like so big and strong and muscly, and you're like, I am a lover, I'm a lover, I've created the universe, <laughs> I've created my own lifetime, I'm a master creator, I'm a woman, or like, I'm a man, or something, and just like, believe it, and believe it, and bloom, like, oh my god, I love me. And then inevitably 25 will not have the same concepts for you as it's already prepared. Like say, oh, I don't feel jealous anymore. And then 25 is like, ah, evidence, you will be jealous. Jealousy comes back and it comes back full force. Your kids are not playing up. They're not doing anything crazy. 25, bad company or like smoking weed behind the school, you know, that kind of thing. You don't have to necessarily do anything. It's just like, love your life, love yourself. And that is how you do it. And that's why you are here. And it's kind of boring, maybe to some people, but you have it. You have it in you. It's like, I'm lucky just because I am. I love my body. I love to dance. I'm so beautiful. I'm so sexy. I'm so comfortable. I'm so caring. I'm so creative. And yeah, and that's it. And don't cuddle up to anything else anymore.
So basically all of it is just from being this mum and trying to do it like this and trying to teach your husband or your children how to do them, you're becoming a poet. Like, I want to be a poetry major. I want to play my violin. I want to write a beautiful song and send it to the universe. Like, try to get rid of all of that, like, thinking, 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 strategizing, making money, being a good woman or man, trying hard to make somebody happy. And then just believe it. And, uh, yeah, that new system comes back. It comes back from the past 25 um, Many things that could be going wrong in the snake year 25 could be many, many, many things going wrong. Could cancel out, cancel if you just enjoy and believe or emotionally pretend even or innovate inevitably through your core. Not for an escape, oh, escape sometimes, yeah, but inside, like. Imagine yourself happy and free forever. Like, try to study art or philosophy. Live a little. Have these uh, eerie moments. Have these bountiful, romantic, mysterious times where you are the one. You're the protagonist. You're the fairy or the dreamer or the angel, whoever you are. And just try to be apart from other people's dreams. But that's not how it works. Okay, bye. 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 This is like how Pisces is. So anyway, on that note, I will uh, say goodbye. And I hope that you had a fun time with me. And if you need anything else, there is a book for the year in the caption section below. And there's also a, um, suppose, uh, website link in the caption section below. And of course, uh, yeah, I do readings, if you care. Uh, and I do art. And I got a Patreon, which I enjoy. Uh, it's all in the caption section below. Thank you so much for seeing me. And I hope this has been a helpful video, at least to some. Bye-bye.